Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video challenges are that it is absolutely bucketing down outside, so if you can hear a lot of rain, potentially even thunder later on, I am very sorry, but today is the only day I have to film this. So we will, as per usual on my videos, power through and not take it as a sign. So if you can hear the rain, I do have a tin roof so it can get quite loud. If you can hear it, I'm sorry. But for today's video, as I said in my last video, I think I was going to do a sort of festive Kmart haul. I love Kmart. I have a little bit of an addiction to it and I probably should be strapped down to stop from going there. But nobody in my family has the strength to tell me to stay away. So until that day, I'm going to keep going. And I did a little bit of shopping there, sort of generalized shopping and then also a little bit of Christmas shopping. So picking up a couple of Christmas ornaments and even a couple of gifts. So I thought I would jump on here and show you what I got. I also went to see Lush <laughs> and I came away with a couple of things that I will put into a separate haul. I was going to combine them, but I think they would be better off in their own haul. So on Thursday, I'm going to do sort of like a lush, a little bit of a Christmas haul because some of the products are part of the Christmas range, but um, a lush haul will be coming on Thursday. But today's video is all about Kmart and Christmas and festivities. So I will just get started. The first thing that I got is some festive pillowcases. So as you can see behind me, I do have like a Santa pillowcase. I have no idea where I'm pointing but generally over my shoulder there are some Santa pillowcases and I did pick them up from Kmart. They are $4 each so that is quite the bargain. I really like them. They're actually on my like sleeping pillow. I mean I have a butt ton of pillows up there at the moment. I don't sleep on all those pillows at night. I sleep on the Santa ones because they are very fluffy and like I just prefer that when I'm using like my normal sleeping pillow. So those are on that one but I also picked up the Christmas reindeer pillowcase. <laughs> so these ones are a navy like almost a bit of a teal like a navy teal and they just have like a rose gold little reindeer on them and a couple of polka dots. I just really like these. These again were only four dollars each. They're just really really cute and they're simple and you don't like you don't have to go all out but they just add a little bit more of something festive to your house. So I'm going to put these two pillowcases on my day bed in my flat so when I have guests come over my entire flat will have vomited Christmas everywhere they turn it will be Christmas and I'm okay with it. To go on that bed um, I actually just picked up some, it's wet because I had to get it out of my car, um, just picked up some like plain sleeping pillows from Kmart. This is their soft supreme comfort ones with the high profile. I like to sleep on my side. The next thing that came home with me in this round are some velvet shoes. If you have not gone to have a look at the Kmart shoe section, I highly recommend that you do. This pair was only $10.00. And it just looks like a pair of volleys, vans, is that what they are? Um, just like a really simple pair of plain flat shoes that you can walk in, go for shopping in, whatever. But they are actually crushed velvet and oh, there is something beautiful about them. <laughs> I don't really know how practical they are because if they get wet like on a day like today or you step in mud or something, they're just going to be completely ruined. But... I don't really care for the sake of $10. Then if you have seen my recent current makeup favorites video that I put up last week, I think it was, I have become obsessed with press on nails and I found their nail section. Again, they have restocked in their nail section. So most of these are double ups. What I did very happily find is my blue chrome nails. I raved about these nails in that video. It is the most stunning blue chrome oil slick pattern. I've never had more compliments on my nails than when I was wearing this and I just I love them. So I picked myself up two more packets of them so I can be set for the festive season if I want to wear these or just whenever I am good to go because they are just a favorite. I love them so much. I also picked up 
two packets of just this navy blue sort of color just for the simplicity of it like they're so simple but just when you want a color on your nails and you don't want to put in a lot of effort to get said color they're just perfect so um, I quite like navy blue nail polish anyway but I tend to find that it does stain my actual nails so something like this is just perfect I also picked up their version of the French tips. I picked these ones up just because I do like the look of a French tip, especially coming up into sort of like a party season where you may not want something really over the top on your nails, but you just sort of want to look clean and classy and just put together. Um, something like this is perfect. Then the last pair that I picked up was if I do decide to go festive this Christmas season, I have this rose gold glitter sparkly set that I can just go crazy with and again just something different glitter nail polish is an absolute pain to remove so something like this is great you get the effect of the glitter without the pain in the arseness of glitter sticking with the chrome theme I got these oil slick cups I don't really know why because I only picked up one of these cups so it's not like I can have a lot of guests drink out of it um, but it was just pretty it was pretty and then because I picked that up my mum saw that they had the insulated bottle in the same design so obviously I have no self-control and I added that to my trolley as well so I just have something with this pattern with shiny things the next little thing that I have here is just a simple ribbon of well, festive ribbon some years when I am wrapping my Christmas presents I go for a theme so I get the same wrapping paper for everybody whether it's like rose gold or teal and gold or like whatever this year I've decided to go with just plain brown paper bag not paper bag <laughs> that sounds really cheap like plain brown paper and then I'm going to use some festive ribbon to tie it together and add a little bit of color so I picked this one up, which is just a very simple white ribbon that just says Merry Christmas with a little red Christmas tree on it. I also got another ribbon that is not here. And the other thing that is not here is just a packet of sticker books that I got that just is to write the to, from sort of thing for presents. I'm not, I really like getting present tags but they can be expensive if you have a quite a few presents to wrap and people throw them out anyway. So I sort of thought this year I would just get a sticker and just slap the sticker on their presents and they'll, they'll know who it's for. For this next thing, I saw this on the Kmart website and as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted it. So I kept an eye out and patience, patience was not my friend, but I did eventually find it in stock. And I have a feeling these will sell out. So if you like this, either order it online or go to your Kmart and pick it up as soon as you can. But I got six metallic tumblers. These are so stunning. Well, I think they're stunning. So you can get them in this tumbler form. So just like a, a normal drinking cup form. Or you can also get them in a wine glass form. I got them as this. I don't really drink like a lot of wine. That's a lie. But I do have glasses for wine already and I don't have a lot of just regular drinking glasses so I thought I'd pick these up because they are just stunning and that's what they look like if you're curious so you get a clear bottom and then you just have the rose gold met metallic kind of finish at the top of it they're very simple but I think they just look very very effective and just really pretty even though they've sort of come out in their festive range they don't look overly Christmassy so you could probably pull this out in June next year and no one's gonna say anything that you're pulling out your Christmas drink wear if that makes sense balls so I had to get a couple of fresh Christmas tree baubles baubles whatever whatever you say ornaments and I decided this year to go for a white silver blue theme Kmart has a lot of this style of blue, so this kind of real deep turquoisey kind of blue. A lot of their Christmas range this year has been themed using this colour. So I decided to pick it up 
in the baubles and my Christmas tree will have those on it. I have a couple of other tree decorations obviously but I do like to try and stay within a theme. I did one year just absolutely everything I could possibly find and the tree looked awesome. It looked full but I kind of just want to sort of see if I can stick to a theme on it this year. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have these ones which are like a normal sized ball and then I also picked up the much bigger ones in the same blue. Whoa! Same blue, but then also in white. So these ones are a little bit pearlescent, like the white style is a tiny bit pearlescent. But I just thought it was really, really pretty and hopefully will look really quite good on the Christmas tree. Now, the last things I have to show you are Christmas gifts. So if I know you personally and you think I like you, and you think I'd buy you a Christmas present, probably click off now. The first thing that I got is not really a Christmas present. Um, I'm going to throw it into my dad's birthday present. It's his birthday next week. and He never watches my videos, so he won't know. Plus, this is a bit of a joke. This isn't serious. I got him other things as well, but this is just to, like, add to it um, as more of a joke. But it's a six-piece condiment set. <laughs> I just think these are so cute. And it, and it has everything in that picture. So you get the little picnic table, the little umbrella, which is like, let's face it, useless. But you also get a tomato um, sauce squeezer, dispenser, whatever you want to call it, bottle. Um, a more mustard one and then a salt and pepper shaper. I just think it's really cute. The last few things are Christmas presents, so I'm dead serious. If you know me and I like you enough to buy your Christmas present, click off the video if you don't want to ruin your Christmas present. The first things, I am, I'm really happy with these and I collect them myself. I'm pretty sure I've probably mentioned it on a couple of videos before or I've at least mentioned it in my social media, but I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter was the first sort of series that I read when I was younger and I kind of grew up with it. And I, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I have the Stephen Fry audiobooks and I watch the movies all the time. And so when I heard that they were coming out with illustrated books to the novels, I had to pick them up. And they release one every year. So this year it is The Prisoner of Azkaban. So they've been coming out for three years now. I have the first two and I am asking Santa to get me the third one. And this is the first one. And I'm going to give this to somebody along with the second book. But if you have not seen these before or if you are a fan of Harry Potter, I highly, highly recommend that you take a little bit of time out of your day to go to a bookstore and to flip through them. They are stunning. They are so beautiful. They are one of those things that if you have a Harry Potter fan in your life or if you are the Harry Potter fan, just something like this to have in your collection because they will become collector's items and they are just, they're just so beautiful. I'm going to just like flip through like a couple of pages just to kind of give you the idea of what you get. So it's the actual full story, um, but every page has illustrations on it. I really do feel like I'm in primary school. So here we go class. Um, but like there's... The, the sorting hat and I just really like it because it gives you a different image in your head than what you read you may have originally got from reading the book by itself or watching the movies or something so everything looks a bit different like the the sorting hat looks nothing like it does in the movies obviously um, but it is a little bit more to what the book kind of describes things as and I just love it. Like, I just think every page has so much detail and it's just so interesting to flip through it and have a look. I haven't read the book. Like, I haven't actually read the storyline out of it. Like, there's spoilers. <laughs> um, I haven't read it as a novel, but I just, I really like them. And I'll give you a sneak peek at the Chamber of Secrets. So, there is the cover for that one. As I said, I haven't read these as normal books, but what I have done is flip through them page by page to see all of the illustrations. And they're just, they're so stunning. The Weasley's Backyard little critters, I forget what they're called. Wormtail, fucking Wormtail. Like these kind of details here, um, when Harry and Ron go into the forest with Aragog or to look for Aragog and like there's spiders all over the page and, um, and that leads up to 
the big reveal of all of the spiders like it's just so well done and it helps to really set the mood of what's actually happening in the story and I just I love it I think it's so beautiful so interactive and if you had kids who were old enough to be reading Harry Potter, especially like the earlier books, like look at Dobby, look at Festy Dobby with his little, little sock. If you have kids that are old enough to be reading Harry Potter, um, but maybe would struggle with just a word book with no pictures, something like this would be really nice to read together. I just, I love them. I think they're such a good investment and I plan to collect them for as long as they're going to come out. And the final few things that I picked up are also for a gift for somebody else to add into their gift. While I was looking in the book section, I found this one and I just thought it was really cute. So it just says, believe in yourself and do what you love. So I just think that is something really important and is a message that I am trying to live by this year. Um, like 2017 has really kicked me into the gutter. So I am trying to live by that kind of message mentality. So I picked this one up for a friend to add to her Christmas gift and it is just a little book full of little quotes and examples of, you know, like how, um, how do you want to feel? It's almost like a therapist in a book, like just almost a pocket sized um, book just to sort of help you to get through some things and to remind you to, you know, think positive and be positive and put out some positive vibes and do what makes you happy. And I also got a journal for that same person. Um, she loves to write, so I thought I would get her something to write in for 2018, but not actually have it as a data journal, just one she can jot down notes and ideas and all of that sort of stuff, like a brainstorm. To go with it is these pencils. So I can't see what they all say, but there's one that says rare and beautiful, good times ahead, self-love, be brave. So they're kind of like positive words along the pencils with on the sharpener it says stay sharp and on the eraser it just says oops. The last thing that I picked up, it's not a gift. <laughs> um, I just completely forgot that I had it, but it is from Kmart and <laughs> Uh, I've already made Pascal wear it. It's um, a jacket that you put on your dog, but it looks like he's riding, he has a reindeer riding him. So this is Pascal's Christmas day outfit. Um, he's not thrilled with it, but he wears it. He puts up with what I put him in. And I just thought this was really cute. They have so many dog costumes. So if you're like me and you like to put your dog through a little bit of humiliation at your, at their expense, but it makes you happy. <laughs> um, Kmart has a whole range of dog costumes. They are amazing. <laughs> they have like a Christmas tree and a reindeer and I mean for Halloween, like I didn't celebrate Halloween, but um, I made Pascal celebrate Halloween and put him in a taco suit. So you can do a lot of damage to your dog if you want to. But as I said, Pascal never tries to tear it off. He just sort of looks at me like, why are you laughing so hard? Like, what's wrong with you? But he can't see that he has a reindeer riding him like a pony. And I love it. So that's his Christmas Day outfit. And that is everything that I picked up from came up for this round. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Remember to subscribe if you are a Lush fan because that haul will be coming on Friday. I'm going to film it right now so I'm going to look identical. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.